What? I think it's an air raid show, Ned. Yep. Yeah. Guys, um, we're in the sort of undisclosed location today. These are um, like old fuel reservoirs used in the Second World War. We've got, I don't know if you can see them, but we've got probably about one, two, three, four, four or five huge fuel tanks. But they're also meant to be air raid shelters as well. Yeah, so we'll have a little explore, see what's about. But yeah. Obviously, you've got Ned with us today as well. Oh, that is as well, isn't it? So the fuel would have been brought here on train tracks. As you can see, we've got the sleeper at the end. Cool. So yeah, I think this connects to the current train track. Look at this, guys. So we've got all these fuel storage tanks. Um, we don't know if we'll be able to get in them yet but it's still a pretty cool site. So you, you just saw a train, didn't you? Yeah. So it must be connected, or it was at one point. Oh wow, so yeah. Gas oil kero pump, so kero, kerosene. So what's this thing, yeah? Do you reckon that could have been one of the... It could have been, it's like proper cat. Yeah, it is cat, isn't it? So there was talk of air raid shelters being there, so definitely, possibly one. <laughs> I don't think we're getting in there though. So we're going to follow the train track, I think, see where it goes. So yeah, a bit of um, World War II history. Well, look, these mountains right here we're just about to check out. I was expecting some kind of path leading from the track. Let's follow it then. Cables. Yeah, I presume there would have been the cables that run alongside the, what, these things? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a connect somewhere else. Yeah, it would have done. That's a switch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. There's only one track. It's a bit suspect, I suppose. Ah, so here's the old... Um, we'll see how close we can get to this, but this is the old gate to the train track. So this has been where the, the old trains during the Second World War would have come in. It's slightly weird not having a gate to a train track, so you could tell it was like a, a secretive operation. So yeah, these train tracks, let me just show you, follow right up to the gate. Yeah. And here we've got the live rail. So Yeah. So the original train track that connected to the rail has been chopped off. Uh let me try and focus, just chopped off just there. And would have connected straight onto the train track. Well, yeah, you can see where they've cut the rail off. But I was just saying, it's weird that you'd have had gates to a train track. So you can tell how secretive this was. You know, big, big double gates. But yeah, you can see where they've angle grinded it off. That's nuts. That's a good little find, boy. Right, now. Yeah, you lead the way then. Yeah, that noise of the crickets, they're deafening. As is the wind, so... Yeah, so I apologise if the wind's a bit... 
loud. I was going to hope to get the drone up and get some aerial footage. Do we go up or round? I'd like to have a look up to see if there's any shafts. There's doors at the front, so it's whether they're sealed. Yeah, so you got little air vents up the top. Just carry on walking around. So that one on the door, it's got number four. So we know there's at least four fuel reserves. Oh, track on fly there. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, real bit of history here. And this is one of these places that I think I'll end up eventually just getting leveled. Um, gas and oil. Now these old light lamp posts. Yeah, I think these are gonna be locked up guys, so. Yeah. Bit, bit of a shame. Oh no, they're open. Right, they're open. The padlock's not actually on, so what we're going to have to do is move this fence in. We'll be able to get in. Gas and oil, eh? Some police signs. They're open. They put these um, this Harris fence in in the way to stop you opening the door up. So, should we remove that? Because it might be the only one we can get in. So yeah, let's have a look inside guys. Oh, that smell. Oh wow. So we've got a pressure gauge. Temperature gauge. Look at this old thermometer. Was well, that a pressure gauge I suppose? Is that. That's the temperature. So at the minute we're 60 degrees, I presume Fahrenheit. So you got two pipes, gas and oil. Max content 637,000 litres of oil. Cleaned and inspected. 1994 this was last used i'm gonna be very careful not to fall in here guys just to get a better look at this ladder and you've got an old uh, you've got an old tap there oh guys i nearly fell i'm having to do the splits You right out there, bro? What's it like? It's pretty cool. So, um, There's a hatch up the top as well. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at it. I'm just holding the fence. Yeah. So hopefully the ladder's uh, stable enough. Let's do it. So that's what the hatch looks like. And up here, we've just got the tank, I suppose. See, it's not me really worth climbing right to the top of the hatch. Although I could open it, I suppose, but why would you want to? So high up, well. 
Let's get down. Big spider there. Really cool. Mm. Wanted to find the uh, air ratio as well because well, it looked like they could be capped. Do you think that one that was capped is. So there's one there that looks a bit lower. Yeah. Oh, really cool. Really cool. So, I'll shut that up again. Padlock on it, but <laughs> someone's obviously taken the latch off, so. Good job on holding the fence, Ned. There you go, put it back safe and sound. Yep. Yeah, so you can undo the hatches from the top. See that hatch up there? Yeah, it's only just held on by a little latch. This one looks slightly different. Yeah. But it would have been shipped, put on a train, shipped away. Bloody grasshoppers everywhere. Literally everywhere. Look. We get to the front of this one then. Look, everywhere I'm moving. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but. I not to stand on any though. There's that blue dragonfly again. This is a haven for wildlife as well, and had insects and... Yeah. Oh, are you thinking about that one or...? Oh, it is lower, isn't it? Yeah. There's quite a height to these ones, but this one seems a bit set into the ground. It hasn't quite got the same um, hatch on top and pipes. So, yeah, that's number two. We've just done number three, I presume. Number four is that big boy over there. Oh, no, that's number three. Oh, that's five. So this should be number one. Hasn't got a number. No. Yeah, I know, but Ooh. that was locked. Rubbish. That that has got a piece of it. It's different to everyone else. Yeah. It's so slow. Worth trying on top. Yeah, that's definitely different, Ned. So this may have been something at one point. Yeah, this, this would have been a ventilation shaft, Ned. We've got the grills on the floor. Oh, is there? Yeah, that's proper solid. Oh, that's a shame. Goes down. Tend to have a look. It stinks though. Oil. It's oily, isn't it? But have a look. <laughs> Things I do. Ants everywhere. Yeah, go careful. This is quite dry. You guys want to have a look? Funny you could guys could smell what I'm smelling. Let's have a look then guys. Oh wow. It's like the fuel bunker Ned. Really? It's like old generators and pumps. There's old filing cabinets across there as well. Oh man, I, it's just the floor is it's a shame. Oh mate, that's so cool. Come down here with waders? Yep. 
and a rebreather. Yeah. Oh man. Let's get to the top. That is gonna. So that's completely different to that. Yeah. So no, that is like a mini fuel bunker, like the one at Portsmouth. Generators, but old filing cabinets and shit like that. Does it look like there's anything on? Possibly. Yeah. There's old bits of um, tools and stuff like that. So I'll have to come back with the waders, but that is an oily floor. So yeah, we'll always close things like this back up. Don't like leaving things like this open. So yeah. Job done. Good find, Ned. Sweet. There's another sunken one there, Ned. Yeah. So uh, if you are enjoying the video, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. So considering the size of these, where I got in, it only went straight up. Does that mean the fuel storage is sort of like three quarters of that mound? It's crazy. Sunken. No door on it either. <laughs> this could be one. Oh, I love trampling down Bramble Ned. There's old cabinets in there. I don't know how good this is or Whoa. What's it like? I think it's an air raid shelter, Ned. Yep. Just watch this bit of metal sticking out, Ned. Let's get this reaction. Yeah, that's serious concrete, isn't it? That's better than the ones we've seen. It's old cabinets, look. And old brackets, old shovel. So these would have been on the wall as well. Zappy in here until we shone the torch on him. Yep. Yeah. Little tins. Oh yeah, I wonder what's can you see what's on them? Absorbent. Oil absorbent. So these old chairs, this old furniture down there. That's old. Look at that, those springs coming out. Yeah, Ned, you've got a bunker door. Whoa. Yep. Uh, old radio as well. A receiver. Oh, this is cool. So it's a telemetry receiver. Radio on, hose rewind and valve open off and on. Serious. It's hot down here, Ned, isn't it? Yeah. That was full. Ah, oh, that's just drainage. You what? Ah, oh, Ned's put Ned's sensible. He's got his uh, proper breather on. Can't it's proper warm down here, guys. So this is almost jail-like. You've got bars on these windows. And look at this door, guys. Look at this. This is huge. Look at that. This is one of the most intact we found, I think, Ned. So we've got little... Oh, all this 
stuff in there. So you've got this little cubicle in there, I don't know what that was for. See, look at all this piping and uh, so that's the hose reel, isn't it? You wound it up with that. I wonder what was in these paintings. Yeah, look at the size of these hoses. This is probably where they were stored when obviously this was in use as a, you know, fuel storage and stuff. Really well intact, some of this stuff. Considering it's Second World War, yeah. and that would have, that's used to protect, uh, isn't it, a generator, the belts on a generator. Yeah. So whether that's in pieces or not, I wonder where that door goes now. <laughs> So yeah, just be careful. Can you see it all right? There he is with his... That's a cool mask. Darth Vader. <laughs> so this might be the end of the road for the shelter. Shift them. Lift them up, do you lift them? Yeah. Only do it one-handed. I'm just scared because there's a cobweb. I don't know if there's a spider behind it. <laughs> well, let me try kicking it. It's not. It's not going anywhere. <sighs> Yeah, but it's like all cobwebbed up. So in all the holes, and they're, they're like filled up with cobwebs and eggs. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I really want to get in there, guys. That's sealed. This just goes on and on then. It's crazy, isn't it? The mills here. Look how far back it goes. Yeah. I think they said they would have housed that 20 to 30. Yeah. yeah. It's clear that it would. Well, they would have had, because they've got wooden frames there, so. And obviously all this machinery on the floor, I think, is just stored in here. I think they've just brought it in. So at one point, obviously, all this stuff wouldn't have been in there. This would have all been used for the, you know, the other mounds we we found. So warm. It kind of reminds me of the hull of the ship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bilge. Really cool find this. Yeah. Really cool. So you've got three. That would have been almost like an airlock because you've got a seal and you've got another door with a seal and that bit. Oh, I'd just love to get through there. I'd be intrigued what's yeah. what's in there. It's almost like an airlock, Ned. And then you've obviously got the main door up here which is sealed. Yeah, yeah great find. So yeah, that's that one. We did hear there was, uh, well we heard there was a couple of air raid shelters here, but like you saw just a minute ago, we may have found one that's been capped. Have you got an old fuse box? Is that for the door control, I suppose? Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, I can't even move that door to get through. Yeah, it would have been connected. Let's see if there's one. Yeah, well I'm just, I'm intrigued as to what was behind that door. And a yellow tinted light bed. So that one maybe have indicated it was in use. That's, that's really yeah, it's almost prison like, isn't it? Mm. Really cool. Really wow. See anything? So yeah, this would have been the original seat in, inside. There's our friend the butterfly again. Sorry mate. Awesome. Right, daylight. And that is our first air raid shelter find. God, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did, guys. That was cool. So yeah, that was, yeah, right under the length of that. Get that. Little pipe in the ground there. 
and this would have been the other side which luckily I mean that side's sealed well that's interesting that it's a ramp not stairs yeah yeah I'm not gonna fight my way through that but I think that's just where the, the door was no that's sealed that's that door yeah that's the green door through there sealed so yeah well hope you enjoyed that little explore yeah what it looks like I hope you enjoyed that little explore guys but um yeah it's uh, definitely worth coming back i think with that yeah night time voyage come with some wellies some waders waders we got um yeah a couple of locations to check out but like i say we found one air raid shelter now that's one also that's possibly capped yeah Where and we've still got three other to do it's just a bit time sensitive today so we're gonna come back to waders we're gonna do a bit of drone flying so this is part one uh, keep an eye out for part two, I suppose. And this is going to be a new series where we're sort of hunting for air raid shelters that no one really knows about. So this is the first. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. See ya.